Cold foam on top, and that's all. We need to hook up my card or whatever, however you do it, to the Starbucks app because I don't understand what the point of me having the Starbucks app is if I never like do my points so that I never get my free drinks. So hopefully, I can do it. I think you have to add your card on there though. We'll see. You too. Thank you. Yeah, I think it was her first day today. Because <laughs> she was struggling a little bit, which, you know, we all been there. So, it is what it is. But I'm about to just pull over so I can show y'all my coffee. And then um, I got to find out. Because I'm in an area that's a little bit... I needed to find a post office. I thought all post offices were open by 8.30. But, I mean, by 8 o'clock. But they weren't. So, I had to find one that was the closest that was open. So, I'm in an unfamiliar area or whatever. But yeah, I got a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew with the vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. It look a little different, but mm -hmm. Mm, it's okay. So yeah, I did decide I'm gonna go ahead and just get an oil change while we're out because I don't wanna leave back out to go get an oil change, especially later. I do have to go to the grocery store, but I haven't figured out or finished doing like my meal plan for the week. So I've decided that I am going to start doing that because I feel like instead of just going to the grocery store, getting a bunch of groceries, and then I feel like after a week, we don't have nothing because the meals I was thinking I've already made. So if I plan, do my meal plan and then go based on that, I think that's the best thing for me. And then also to help me kind of plan out my lunches and everything. So I kind of started it. Um... Y'all know my girl Danny J always putting me on to something or making me want to try something because we just like that's why we're friends. We have the same interests. So period. Anyway, but she was like saying she never liked meal prep prepping, which is what I did when I was losing weight. And I feel like now I can't really see myself meal prepping how I was back then. Like back then, I'd be doing four to five meals at a time. I was really, really strict on myself. And I feel like now I'm more like into the part of my journey where I'm trying to enjoy my lifestyle a little bit more kind of dabble in the things that are a little bit good you know that are good and stuff like that and i'm really excited that i get that i'm at the hospital because there's just so many great perks like i'm one of those people that i believe in getting all that you can out of the place that you work like we work for these big companies and corporations and they have so much to offer you'll be surprised um what you can get like me even going to therapy i was able to get that from working through my job so i'm very excited about that because now hopefully I can get my therapist back. Like I literally miss her. I was just thinking about her the other day. But I just feel like, you know, you never know what programs and what opportunities they have for you at work. Just check. And one of the perks that I am going to get is a discount off a of gym membership. And I think it's Lifetime. If I'm not, I can't remember if it's LA Fitness or Lifetime. But both of those gyms have what I want as far as the spot, the hot tub, the sauna, classes, nice workout, great location. So I'm excited and I get a really good saving discount as being an employee. So I can't wait to actually make my sign up and everything. But I think I'm going to do a guest pass so I can go sometime this week and explore what else y'all oh last night i did apply to school you guys i applied to the school so there was three there were three schools that i was looking at um one of our major universities and um also i was looking at two state schools that i was going to do because really i think i'm gonna go the adn route i'm still an rn and i feel like my a bsn is not i was talking to my old nurse manager and a BSN is not my main priority right now. I can always do a bridge RN to BSN program online. They have a million of those. But to start to do a two-year program and become an RN, I'll already be in good shape and able to do a lot of stuff. So 
that's the route that I wanted to go. There's so many different videos here on YouTube. I'll do a video if you guys want to know how I decided to do the ADN route versus if I want to do LPN or BSM because I have completed a lot of undergrad as well. But for me personally, I've decided to start over in an ADN program because I need to take all those classes over. I need to take those micros. I need to take the anatomies and all that stuff because even though I've taken them, I have forgot all of that stuff y'all I'm not gonna lie a lot of that stuff I have definitely forgot so and it's gonna be pretty important for me to get through nursing school so I'm really excited um the, the, so I will be starting more than likely uh the program if everything goes well in the fall that's base best case scenario is that I'll be starting next fall in the actual nursing program and I'll start taking my prereqs that I need to retake to be prepared for the nursing program and to get in and all that stuff. I'll start working on that in January and I need to start doing things now like my T's, um, that kind of thing to even because of my deadline to apply to the nursing program, even though it's fall of 2022, is February like 1st. So I need to do my take my teas i need to start studying so you guys are gonna be seeing me getting nursing books like everything is just falling into place so i just i'm hoping and praying for the best i submitted my application last night so i don't know how long it'll take um but that'll just for me to be able to get in and kind of figure out okay what do i need to get before i start the program so that's that y'all be keeping you guys along and post on the journey so now i'm gonna go ahead and go i've been talking a little bit so i'll see you guys oh. Monday, as you guys can see, I just got done doing my makeup and I just threw on this little headband wig real quick because I'm about to do my brand collab, which is a hair video, but I need to get a couple more supplies from the beauty supply store. At first, I was going to go to the one I always, the ones I always go to, which um, is the black owned one. If you live in Minnesota, there's a black owned, there's a couple actually now, but there's like a major one that's been around like since I was kids since I was a kid, I mean, sorry, y'all, I cannot breathe. I got this waist trainer on and I think it's safe to say like, I'm not, waist trainers look great. They're nice and everything, but after a while, these things be uncomfortable and I guess that's the point, but I'd much rather wear my sweet sweat, uh, sweatband when I'm working out. Cause this, I can't breathe. Like, I feel like once I come back from the beauty supply store, I'm gonna need to uh, go ahead and just take this off because I can't. So anyway, I'm just going to the beauty supply store by my house because um, I don't feel like going way over to the one that's kind of far or whatever. And I just threw this on. I did my makeup so I could do the unboxing part. Um, and I've got on my MAC foundation. This is my MAC Studio uh, Matchmaster. This was my first ever uh, high-end foundation and I love it. It still matches me so good and um, yeah I just feel like it turned out pretty good. It looks good in the sun. So anyways y'all about to run to this beauty supply store really quick. It's like five minutes from my house. I don't know why I don't come here more but yeah I'm just gonna run, run in there. I need to get me a mannequin head. I need to get me some lace glue uh, to lay the wig down. I need to get some mousse and I think that's it y'all i'm super excited to do this install y'all i just hope it turns out right but i know i gotta take this waist trainer off when i get home because i can't breathe <laughs> store it was super quick i was in and out and i did not make it with that waist trainer off on um, y'all i took it off before i went in but anyways you guys i want to show y'all really quick just what i purchased for the haul so i got me a mannequin head i had got one of these a while ago but this is like the worst kind of head like i can't really work on this i had made a wig on this and it was just way harder than it needed to be. So I got just a regular mannequin head until I can get me a soft mannequin head. I'm just gonna order it off Amazon. I got some Lottie Body Mousse. And then I got this um, Isha Luxury Wig Faction Lace Wig uh, Bond Glue. And this is water resistant. And this little bitty thing was $7, y'all. The other ones was super duper pricey. So I'm like, let me just start small. So yeah, I have two units that I wanna work with today. So the first one is the one that I'm doing the partnership with. And the second one is my uh, wig that I made with my hair from Lajene, uh Luxury Hair. That's my favorite 
curly hair that I have. And I want to um, doctor that up. I'm going to bleach the unit, get it all looking right so that I can actually wear it. Oh, that's what I forgot to get an elastic band. That's all right. We can find something though. But yeah, y'all, that's it. So I'm just about to uh, go ahead and work with this wig. So get in my little clips. So yeah, you guys, stay on the lookout. So it's time to work. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay, you guys. So we are done with our install. And it turned out pretty good, you guys. Not perfect. Definitely not perfect, but I'm definitely still a beginner as far as installing my wigs. I used to wear a lot of wigs that didn't require you to, like, use the lace, like, not full lace wigs. Like, I love me a good handband, headband wig because they're so easy to use. You, I mean, they're so easy to blend. You just put them on and keep it moving. But I think I actually did a really good job. Babe came on home on her break, and she, she said she liked it. And, you know, my babe will definitely be honest with me. So, yeah, she says I did good. I did good, period. So, yeah, I'm excited. I got that video finally done. It's like one o'clock, so a little bit later than I anticipated, but babe did end up coming home. So um, I just kind of hung out with her for a little bit on her break. But yeah, you guys, I got this little two-piece uh, outfit from Rainbow, I think. I need to get me some more. I really want to get me some of those furry, uh, like three pieces. It's like actually like a tank top, the furry little cute pants. Some of them are flares, some of them are fitted, some of them are leggings, and then it has like the fuzzy, cozy cardigan that matches too. And I think they their Skims was like the first to make it, but they have lots of different like Fashion Nova, and everyone did a remake on it. So yeah, y'all, that's it. This hair is super duper cute. So I guess I'm keeping on for the rest of the day, y'all. See how it works out. But yeah, we're, we'll get better as we keep on working but i'm just happy that i got that video footage done i need to go ahead and edit that and i'm just gonna go to the grocery store so yeah y'all i'm starving literally haven't ate anything um all day so i'm starving and um yeah i need to get me some food so that's that y'all love my hair that's why i'm still on here talking to y'all Period. Cuz period. Cuz period. Cuz, cuz, cuz period. Y'all, I'm just way too hype right now. Hey guys, so we are at Aldi's. I just wanted to check in really quick because I don't have a ton of batteries, so I'm probably not going to vlog too, too much in there, just a little bit. I'm just going to see what I can find for the week. We just need to get a couple groceries and then what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to just do burgers and fries or if I'm going to do like a homemade Chinese see if they have something in there for that i don't know i did want to go to trader joe's but i'm probably not to be honest with you guys but yeah i'm just gonna run in here and go home because i'm tired of running around and doing stuff y'all for real i'm tired that filming all that um and doing all this hair stuff that really took all a lot out of me i'm not gonna lie so yep i still want to relax and enjoy the rest of my day off because you know we start our six day stretch tomorrow i haven't decided when i'm gonna give them my notice you guys we were supposed to be doing our co-worker happy hour today um but i don't think i'm gonna make it now i don't think i've decided i'm not gonna make it i was really gonna try to go but i do not feel like it and plus they all live close to where my job is and it's a 25 minute commute and i just don't feel like it today i don't work so i love them but i'm gonna just sit this one out because i'm tired honey so that i know when i'm done with these groceries i'm gonna be tired so get some stuff for dinners for the, the next day i did try to do some meal planning so we'll hopefully that'll work out but yeah y'all we'll see so i'm about to go in i got this stupid freaking hair glue on my freaking hand i think i'm gonna have to use alcohol to get that off but yeah i'll probably take this wig off when i get home y'all because i don't need to keep it on i think i'm gonna wear it to work tomorrow i could see me just getting hot right now and the glue coming right off and i just don't have time shredded mild cheddar cheese i got some shredded iceberg lettuce i got these for the big mac bowls i'm gonna be making this week we got some more frozen broccoli i got us some ground beef patties the 80 20 as well as some ground beef i need that for tacos this week as well as for some of it for um the big mac bowls 
I got two of these broccoli cheddar soup at home from Panera. I've been really wanting some Panera. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to do a, some Panera at home this week with just um, sandwiches and just do it like that. I got some bananas, some red grapes, a thing of 2% milk, some more iced coffee, um, a thing of these sweet Hawaiian rolls. I got some cherry tomatoes for the Big Mac bowl as well. And then I got this, these three Chinese food items because I think I'm going to do uh, Chinese at home tonight. So I'm going to do this. I got this Fuchsia General Tao chicken, these chicken um, egg rolls, and then some chicken fried rice. So we'll see how that turns out. I'll let you guys know. But I'm put all this stuff up. And yeah. So yeah, y'all, I'm proud to pretty much just edit this vlog that I have so far edit to my hair video, put these groceries up, relax, and yeah, that's it, you guys. So I'll see you guys a little bit later.